A lot of people ask for my recommendations when building or upgrading their PCs for Tarkov. It basically comes down to the 5700X3D and the 7800X3D. Both are elite, with the 5700X3D being the best bang for your buck. The 7800X3D is the best in class while still offering great value. I've already shown in a previous video that you can literally use an eight year old $7 AMD RAID Stealth cooler on a 5700X3D if you really wanna keep costs down. Today we'll be diving into a hot topic, literally. We're comparing air cooling versus AIO cooling for AMD's 7800X3D. With this powerhouse CPU, keeping temperatures under control is crucial for maintaining performance and longevity. So which cooling solution reigns supreme? Let's find out. So I've got my 7800X3D loaded up on my test bench here. For this comparison, I'm using the cost-effective ID Cooling SE214XT, a basic four-pipe air cooler with a 120mm fan. It's simple but effective, and it only costs $17 on Amazon right now. I'll be comparing it against the Cooler Master ML240L V2 240mm AIO cooler. This goes for about $100 on Amazon right now. The room temperature is around 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. I'll be running some Cinebench 2024 benchmarks and then doing in-game comparisons in Escape from Tarkov for real world numbers. So to start things off, I ran Cinebench 2024's GPU, CPU multi-core and CPU single core benchmarks. In the GPU benchmark, the AIO configuration scored about 12% higher than the air configuration with a score of 17,554 versus 15,610. In the CPU multi-core benchmark, the AIO configuration again scored around 12% higher, the AIO scoring 1,018 versus the air configuration scoring 905. Following that same trend in the CPU single-core benchmark, the AIO configuration scored about 11% higher this time, but still just about the same difference. So the AIO scored 113 with the air configuration coming in at 102. So basically when pushed to its limits by Cinebench, the AIO configuration is consistently scoring about 11 to 12% higher. Now onto the EFT benchmarks. I tested both systems offline on factory with no AI to establish a baseline. Surprisingly, the air configuration achieved a slightly higher FPS average of 218.8 compared to 214.1 for the AIO. It's a negligible difference of just 1.8%, but I thought I'd point that out at least. Interestingly, despite the lower FPS, the AIO configuration was drawing less power, resulting in a higher FPS per 10 watts ratio. However, there was a significant temperature difference. The air configuration averaged around 65 degrees Celsius compared to 56 degrees Celsius for the AIO. Taking both systems to the streets of Tarkov offline with no AI, the AIO configuration averaged around 129 FPS and the air system came in at 116. This is close to an 11% difference. The performance difference is larger than I thought it would be before performing these tests, to be honest. 11% is a pretty decent gap, especially when we're talking about streets. On air, the average temp was around 67, and the AIO temp average was around 62. After taking each config for a run in online mode, the AIO setup averaged 91.3 FPS, and the air setup averaged 86.7. The gap was much smaller at around 5% in an actual online raid with all the variables, assets, AI, and players mashed in. Temps were the same in online mode as they were in offline, 67 on air, 62 on AIO. So which cooling solution should you choose for your 7800X3D? Well, there are three main factors I suggest you consider, and the order of importance varies for each individual. First, maintenance. Both air coolers and AIOs are relatively low maintenance in the short term. Long term, air coolers remain low maintenance. You just gotta clean the heat sink and fans periodically, that's about it. AIOs, on the other hand, could require more attention, time, and money. The pump can fail over time, and there's a small risk of leaks as well with the radiator liquid. Second is cost. Air coolers like the SE214 XT are relatively cheap and get the job done. Quality AIO coolers in 240 millimeters or larger formats 
can cost three to five times as much as a basic air cooler. Are they going to provide three to five times the performance? Probably not. Whether the performance gains justify the price difference depends on your specific needs and budget. Third, performance. AIO coolers usually outperform air coolers and operate more quietly due to their use of radiators with fans. However, in this comparison, the air cooler provides about 95% of the performance of the AIO configuration at 20% of the cost. The overall temperature difference is not drastic and the air cooler keeps the chip well below its operating temperature limits. For Tarkov players with the 7800X3D, I'd recommend taking a hard look at air cooling and making your own decision based on the results shown here. All right, that's all I got for this one. I hope it was helpful for those of you building or upgrading your PCs right now. If it was, go ahead and throw an impact grenade at the like button. Thank you for all the views, likes, comments, and support you guys have been showing me. It means the world to me as I continue my journey towards making this a full-time thing. All right, it's back to the grind for me, and I'll see you in the next one.